Uh, hi everyone and uh, welcome to this series of uh, BO exam electrical A1 uh, about circuits. Okay, so this question is from May 2023, so it is after the after the pandemic, and this question is a category I call it circuit reduction. So they give you a big circuit, okay, and they are expecting you to be able to reduce the circuit to something that's manageable. So the circuit looks like uh, a big circuit, hard to deal with, but once you start to uh, follow certain uh, techniques, then you will start to see that the circuit become much simpler than what she looks. So let's see this question here. So in this question it says here, calculate V1 and V2. So the first thing for a question like this, now here it is not specified to use nodal, mesh, or any technique, just ask you to analyze. So I can use anything here, but those circuits, you start with basically reducing them. So how to do that? First, uh, number the nodes. So we'll have here node number one. This is node number two. Now here, this is again two. And this is two. This is a different node. Now once you go, between a point and a point, and there's an element between it becomes a difference. So this is number three, and this is number four, and this is four, and this is four, and this is four, because all of this is just one node, four and four. Now, once you number the nodes easily, you will see what are the elements that they are in parallel, what the elements that are short circuit, and so on and so forth. So we look here, to this 500 ohm, the it's two terminal is between node two and node two, it means a short circuit, then, then you can take it out. Similarly, the 100 ohm between node four and node four, so it is basically like a short circuit, take it out, okay? The rest, no, there is nothing short circuited. So now let me redraw the circuit after removing those resistors. So this is becomes the supply that you will have here, which is, the 100 volt, then you will have here the 100 ohm, then you will have here the 150 ohm, and then you will have the 120 ohm, then you will have 60, and then you will have 40, this is 60, and this. Now let me number the nodes. This is number one, this is two, this is two, this is a three, and all of this is four. If you wanna make sure that you, you didn't miss anything, let's pick any uh, random resistor. Let's say, for example, the 150 between two and four, the 150 between two and four. Uh, let's select this 40. It's between three and four. All you need to find is to find V1, which is V1 here is between two and four, two and four. And you want to find V2, which is this resistance between three and, and four. So now this circuit is much more manageable. It has a three loops. Uh, you have uh, three nodes plus a reference if you want to use nodal or mesh. But this question, I will try to solve it using circuit reduction. Now, so what I can do, one thing I can do, the 120 and 150, they are in parallel. How do I know? Because they are between node two and four, both of them. So this circuit, I can reduce it to plus minus the 100 volt, 100, the parallel resistance, the 60 and the 40. So this is your 60. This is your, basically your 40 ohm. Now these two in parallel, you multiply them, divide by their summation. So the 150 parallel with 120 is equal to 150 times 120 divided by 150 plus 120. And this uh, will give me 66.7 ohm. Now this is still your V1 and this is still your V2. Now this is node one, two, three, and four. Okay. Now it becomes two loop. Now even it's bitter. Now what I will do basically, 
I will even add these two resistors in series. Now here I have to be very careful. Once I add these two in series, V2 vanishes because now it is basically embedded in that resultant, but that's okay because I can go back and forth, back and forth between these circuits. So, so now I will come here and I will have the 100 volt, the 100 ohm, I will keep this as it is, the 66.7 ohm. This is your V1. I will add these two in series. So you will have here 100 ohm. So this is 100 ohm. So this is now one, node one, two, two. Now node three will be dissolved. Now when you add 60 and 40 in series, the node between them will be resolved, uh, dissolved. So basically here, you will not have uh, that uh, uh, three. So you'll have this is only, only four. So this is between two and four. The resultant is between also two and four. Now I will add these two further in parallel. Okay. So this is your 100 volt, 100 ohm. Okay, and then these two in parallel, again, you multiply them and divide by their summation. So you will get here total of 40 ohm. Now, because these two are in parallel, this is stays as node number between one, this is one, this is two, and this is four. So this is still your V1. Okay, so still you have V1 here. Now, Having said that, now I can use voltage division. So your basically your V1 is equal to the main voltage, which is 100 times the 40 ohm divided by 100 plus 40. And this will give me a voltage equal to 28.57 volt. Okay, now what I need to find, I need to find V2. Now I will go backward. Okay, now when you go backward to this circuit, V2 doesn't, doesn't exist. When you come here, yes, here, this circuit, this is the last circuit, which is this one that has V2. Now, when you look here, I this is V1, which is, I know it now, and V1 basically is connected in series with these two resistors. So I can use also voltage division between these resistors because between node two and four, I know the voltage. Between node 2 and 4, I have the 60 in series with the 40. So your V2 will equal to V1, which is the 28.57 times the 40 divided by 40 plus 60. And this will give me 11.4 volt. So now I found V1 and V2, and which is the first first requirement. Then you are asked to calculate the total power generated and the total power absorbed. Now in this circuit, we have only one source. So this is the only source to supply. The rest we have resistors. So everything else will be basically, will be uh, uh, absorbing uh, power. Now, when you look here, let me, this is IS, this is I1, I2 and I3. We have four currents. Okay. Now IS, which is the current coming through the supply, this is your IS. Okay. So I can find IS from the last circuit. So your IS would equal to 100 volt divided by the summation of the two resistors, the 100 plus 40. And this will give me 0.714 amp. So I need to find all the currents here in the circuit. So first let's find all the currents. I need to find I1. So we go backward here. Now I know V1. So your I1 is equal to your V1 divided by the 150 ohm. V1, I already calculated 28.57 divided by the 150. And this I1 will be equal to 0.19 amps. Then I will calculate I2. I2 is the current in the parallel branch. So it's the same thing. It's V1, 28.57 divided by 120. 
uh, ohms and this will give me 0.24 amps finally you will have i3 now i3 is v2 divided by 40 so your i3 or v1 divided by 60 plus 40 so i3 equal to v2 divided by 40 all ohms low v2 i already know it 11.4 divided by 40 and this will give me 0.285 so, um, so now i found all the currents all i need to find now is the power we have from the supply we have power supplied and then we have one two three four five resistors we have the total power basically consumed so let's calculate that so i need to find the power from the source the supplied is the voltage which is the 100 times basically your is which is 0.714 and this will give me 71.4 what this is the power that is generated or supplied this is the only one that is generated now let's find the power that is absorbed and as i said this is the uh, uh, the 150 uh, let me redraw this circuit here so that we get easy to uh, basically to follow up so I will have here the supply, the 100, the 100 ohms, this is 100 volt, this is ohms, and then I will have here the 150, the 120, the 60, and 40. So I will have my IS supply, I have I1, I2, and I3. So the power from the 100 ohm is equal to I S square times 100, which is equal to your I S. We have it here. We already calculated this point. 714 square times 100. This is equal to 50.9 watt. The power from the 150 ohm, this power here, is your I1 square times 150, mm -hmm. and this is give me 0.19 square times 150, and this is 5.4 watt. Power of the 120 ohm is equal to I2 square times 120, which is 0.24 square times 120, and this will give me 6.9 watt. Finally, the power of, I will have the 60 plus the 40 because it's the same current. So it's equal to I3 squared times the total resistance in series 60 plus 40. So this give me 0.285 squared times 60 plus 40. And this will give me 8.1 watt. Now all these are uh, basically absorbed when you add all of them you'll get 71.3 watt very very close very small this is due to the approximation i have done okay so that is a very classical questions in a1 uh, tests ask you to basically implicitly to reduce the circuit find currents find voltages find mm -hmm. find power and the key point in my opinion is basically to number the number the notes